All right, y'all. So tonight I am going to make a little leftover uh, fried rice. So I pulled all the leftover rice out of my fridge. I have the steak that I cooked last night that's left over. All I'm adding are onion and egg. Um, and we're going to make a really simple, really interesting fried rice for tonight. So let's see what we can make, huh? Yeah. This is a little bonus tip I have for you guys. Um, a good way to keep your food separated from all the rest of the stuff in your cooler. I just use these little vacuum seal uh, Rubbermaids. They work really good. And you're just able to put everything you need in them. So tonight we're gonna have that fried rice. I also brought uh, egg rolls that I'm gonna try to cook on the grill. So all I need for this is I have some green onion. I have two eggs in my little container here. Uh, and I have a mix of different rices um, that I'm just gonna try and fry up. I've got some packet pre-cooked rice. Yes, you can cook your own. Packet. This guy owns so many restaurants and he still can't be bothered to make his own rice. Packet rice. And then I also have my leftover steak from last night. So let's get after this and see what we can actually make, yeah? All right, obviously one of the really important things for fried rice is to start with the super hot pan. I do not have a wok. They do make camping woks. Uh, I just don't own one. So I have my pan, I'm gonna to wanna to put that on there and I'm gonna to wanna to start getting that hot. Why do that? Gonna mix my eggs here. Keep it simple. I need a garbage bag. Uh, so that's gonna get hot really fast. One egg. I uh, feel like I could use the protein, so I'm gonna double up on my eggs here. And try not to get that piece of shell that obviously had to crack out in the middle of the nowhere. So I just got my two eggs um, and I wanna kinda whisk them lightly. My pan is already getting super hot, so I'm just whisking. Uh, you don't want to whisk too much, and really important for fried anything, you want to make sure that you have a good dash of oil in everything. So, see how they're still kind of stringy together there? Again, when you're doing ham fried rice, you don't want a whole lot of beating. You just kind of want to get that nice consistency and yellow color. One thing about cooking outdoors is that temperature control always going to be an issue for you, no matter what. You're going to have temperature problems. Um, and instead of a pot holder, I'm going to actually use my welding glove just because it's so much easier to grab the pot this way. But you can see I'm just scrambling up that egg. And again, if you feel like it's getting too hot, get it off the heat a little bit. Um, that's again what's nice about the welding glove. And then just take your egg and keep it separate. Gonna wanna add a little bit more oil. Don't over oil your fried rice or uh, it will get 
pretty nasty. And then fried rice, it's really important to use cold rice. Uh, cold leftover rice is even better. Um, it just is gonna break down much easier. Um, and it's what all of the experts say. Now you'll notice that wasn't just normal white rice. Um, it's actually also some <laughs> broccoli and cheese rice that I had. Uh, like I said, I wanted to try something a little different here. No, and no, cooks. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he make Uncle Roger put my leg down from chair. Uh, normally you'd want to add like your MSG. All of that stuff, but I don't have all of that. So I'm gonna go with a good dose of garlic powder. And some crushed red pepper. Can you hear that sizzle sizzle? Um, you'll know your fried rice is done when your clumps start to unbreak a little bit. So what I have right here is my leftover steak from last night. Steak in a bag, steak in a bag. Uh, and I'm just gonna add that all in after I eat a quick piece. Oh, I forgot to... Start the Barbie. To throw our egg rolls on. That's what I'm doing off camera, just so you know, is starting egg rolls. Get that rolling. Put my hot glove on, because I'm gonna need it here, and it's gonna be hot. So. Mm. This is gonna be good. I'm just gonna add that egg back in. Mix it up a little bit. So then what I'll do is I have my green onion. And I'm just going to tear big chunks of it off and just throw those right in. Personally, I feel like you can never have enough green onion, so. I do lots. There you have it, my friends. You have fried rice. Mm. That's good. Takes a little bit of that steak right there. Mm. The egg, the onion. Now I need a soy sauce, which I have. 
So I'll show you guys what the final product looks like. All right, guys. So just like that, uh, I have my little egg roll here. Delish. Mm. And then our fried rice right here. That took what? 12 minutes, 15 minutes max. Super delicious, super easy. And again, the only thing that I bought were the egg rolls and the onion. Everything else came from the fridge. So hope you enjoyed. Hope we give you something to try. Um, a little sesame oil, um, a little mame flavor, anything like that would make this much better. But for what I got, it's delicious. And uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, my friends. Be well. Mm. Look at that steak. Oh, so good. So Roger say, if your rice too wet, you fucked up. But if your rice too dry, you also fucked up.